today we're going to be discussing the solidify modifier and it's a really 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 useful modifier so I have this basic sort of pot shape I'm gonna throw on a subdivision surface and add a loop cut there and an insert there and shade it smooth so I have an outside profile of my pot but what if I want an inside profile? That's where we use the solidify modifier. So I'm going to come up to here and I'm going to add it. And that's going to automatically add a an interior to our pot. So quite often times um, it works by taking the the edge normal and simply extruding out along it for every single vertex we have. So normally when we apply this, we'll, or when we add one of these, before we finish up all our changes, we're gonna wanna apply it, and then it dips down, and we can see that it was a little bit masked there because we had a solidify, our, our sub subdivision surface modifier. Um, but we will usually need to go in and dip that last vertex at the top to make sure that it's good in the case of a pot. Um, on cubed objects you won't get that, but at the opening of the sub subdivision, or the opening of the um, solidified object where the opening goes on a curved tangent, then you will want to fix the edge loop around that space because otherwise it will mess up a little bit. Thanks for watching.